Okay, this is the bonus smash TV for NES episode. Yeah, we're going to give this another go and uh, be a bit more serious, a bit more hardcore about it and see how far we can get. So um, we might less talky walky? Yeah, less talk talk, more game game. We um, say that now. <laughs> we'll find out how, how well we go. We probably will die. I'm probably not going to do that as well as we did last time. Yeah. Maybe we should go south this time. All right. Okay, two players, two controllers. Here we go. I'm AC. And I'm Rob. And this is Bits Eater Bonus. I like the sound of that. That does sound good. Patent pending. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is a 50-50 kind of share thing we do with uh, bit seizures, so it's not like I can really rob, rob of all of our non-profits. Because I can tell you right now, we've never made a cent out of bit seizure. <laughs> <laughs> We're running at a massive loss. <laughs> we missed it that time. Yeah, we usually yeah, pause for that. You didn't normally honor the, uh, the announcer there. But, uh, so I remember that from Robocop. Someone on Robocop says, I'll buy that for a dollar, and you know, everyone laughs, and I'm not sure whether that's where it originally came There's from. There's probably some pedigree to that, but I can't honestly Might have been a comedian or someone else who said that first, and they put him in the film. Yeah, I really don't know. I wish I knew, because it sounds like the kind of thing that we ought to. Well, Robocop is actually a very, very odd movie, because if you listen to the commentary, and I know you will, ladies and gentlemen, of the jewelry, <laughs> jewelry, <laughs> uh, there's actually, like, the, the, um, the, uh, oh man, I died. The director actually made a whole, wanted to make a whole lot of allegories to Jesus Christ. Like, uh, Robocop is like standing in a puddle at the end, and you know, it's meant to be him be walking on water and he's been resurrected from the dead. What? I'm not kidding. You say this is like a Christian film? <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. But uh, certainly influenced by. Uh, I think he was meant to, he was trying to make some kind of a point. But okay. I'm not, I'm not even sure what the, the point he was trying to make was. That's crazy. Yeah. It, it's pretty insane, actually. That is weird, really weird. I'm not even sure whether you can get that commentary anymore. I'm pretty sure that must have been stifled by some company or another. Yeah, I don't know. I can't imagine. Oh, gosh. All right, so let's just try and kill all these little men. I gotta say, this is totally unfair. Who, how much are these guys are getting paid to be on this game show? <laughs> Like, honestly. What, what, the guys we're fighting or yeah. us guys? Like, they're like, alright, go out there with no weapons, try and kill this guy who's got a machine gun. To be fair, they do start firing pretty quickly. Although they're pretty predictable for the most part, I would say. Yeah. Oh, I got, I got life back. I tell oh, you, and I just lost it. Manipulating this, uh, um, this D pad, uh, the game pad to try and, um, um, so shooting all the different directions is pretty tricky. Oh, I died. Yeah, I've been. I've had that same problem. That's why I keep dying. Yeah, I think it's not so much that the game is that hard. It's more that the control scheme isn't suited to it. I um, think they did well for what they had. Yeah, and, absolutely. You know, and and I'm sure it's a cult classic. On oh, actually, oh, damn, I died again. I think yeah, our bonus the... videos probably is not going as well, as well as expected. No, I think I think um this would be a much better game to play on the SNES. No, no offense to the NES version, but. Um, SNES has the D, the, the buttons that um, kind of look like a D-pad on the on the right hand side, so it's, it's much simpler to just use those uh, A, B, X, Y buttons to, to kind of emulate a second joystick if you like, um, and um, get the kind of gameplay that you that you want out of this. Big money, big prizes. I'm looking at four big prizes right there. Right? <laughs> <laughs> These eighties women are uh, tooting your horn <laughs> there. <laughs> You know, they look like Storm from X-Men. They do a bit. Oh, I love the spreader. But... And, the, and these bombs fire shrapnel and everything like that. Oh, I, I really needed that life rope, by the way. I think if you blow the bombs up before they explode, they don't shoot shrapnel. So you gotta try and, like... And, well... And, and of course, the enemy's bullets don't, and any shrapnel don't hurt other enemies. Yeah, so it's, all, it's kind of fair in a weird way, because we can't shoot each other and they can't kill each oh. other, so in a weird way, it's kind of fair. Um, you got to make sure to get all these power ups because yeah, I'm missing them. You oh, got to yeah, you got to you got to try and make the most of what, what you got in front of you. And it is not a forgiving game, I think, because it was originally a coin op. You can see that this would really suck your money if you if you weren't concentrating. Mind you, there aren't too many other dual joystick kind of games I can think of. Not uh, from this era, certainly. Not from this era, no. My favourite ever double joystick game would be um, Virtual. I think yeah. Which is like a giant robot kind of game. Uh, available for the Sega Saturn, which I used to have. I think the 
first dual joystick game I played was, um, unfortunately, in Geometry Wars. Which is like, geometry, which is what is Geometry Wars? Well, you it, run us through that. It sounds a lot worse than it actually. It, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a shooter with a lot of kind of colorful graphics. That were, I think it was originally an Xbox, um, Xbox 360 game. Um, and uh, then it came late into the other. So, so it was eight hours of mathematical fun. It's, it's. <laughs> I know that geometry doesn't really necessarily stir up a lot of positive feelings for me when I hear that word, but um, it was like a fun uh, shooter with like sort of sh abstract sort of shapes and stuff that you're shooting. Um, that that you know that it, it kind of sounds dull, but I, I reckon that it could be fun. At some stage. Yeah, you got to see it to, to understand. It's very colourful, very bright. And, um, I remember when Parappa the Rapper came out, like before that came out, it copped a lot of heat, but it was actually a really good game. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of a classic. I, I'd love to. Oh, I died. I'm dead, Rob. I'm sorry. You keep taking taking my lives. I'll see how far I can get. Yeah, um, this will be good. But I don't think I'm going to get super far without Andrew supporting me here. Yeah. Um, so the problem is with this game, I don't I'm not sure whether there is any difference between one and two players. I don't think there's... There probably isn't, but uh, you know, that would require a lot more code than I'd expect. Yeah, it's, it's... two different modes. Oh god, those red things are going to kill me. Ah! <laughs> yeah, it's... You really start to feel the lack of um, a second um, uh, joystick, if you will, um, when you're... You're on missing your, my you're on your own. I am, unfortunately, which is something I really have to say. <laughs> um, <laughs> you got to remember, Rob and I have known each other since the ages. Yeah, we've known each other a long time. He um, very rarely actually misses my company. I just kind of turn up at his house on the first. Why not go up here? Why not? I'm sure that there'll be some really friendly people up in this room. Uh, that I'll give me How many toasters do you have now? That's a problem. I've got, I've got you should be using those as weapons. I've got so many toasters. <laughs> but you can never have enough toasters in the future. It's so much bread for toast. It's a real problem for this people at this time. <laughs> uh, oh, God. Yeah, I'm not doing a great job here. The one hit, one kill thing kind of does make sense when you've got five lives, I would say, but yeah, a double joystick can really, really help. It's just... Yeah, the control scheme on is just getting, really lacking. Getting all those four particular joysticks to work in the same way the arcade does would be very, very... Yeah, difficult. I'd love to see someone holding two NES controllers uh, playing this game. That would just be humorous to me, I think. Right? I, reckon, I reckon I could do that, but it would involve me cutting two of my controllers in half <laughs> and then duct taping them together with the D-pad or, you know, something like that on both sides. I reckon I could probably win that, but... Actually, no, I probably couldn't because you'd come in for... No, so, no, I, I couldn't do that. That's a lie. I lied. This is difficult. I can't believe I'm still alive here, but okay. You're not doing too badly. Uh, if, if you're cutting into a corner and you, and you use the spreader, you're going to hit most of the things in Direction. Yeah, so. the spread's really helpful. So try and get the spread. That's my pro tip for um. Just, just get anything. Really, just anything that kind of like appears on screen. Yeah, just pick up everything, get everything, shoot everything. Don't get hit. Um, <laughs> now this gun, mobile gun turrets. This is really unfair. <laughs> this is. It's. It kind of reminds me of those old vertical shooters we used to play, like uh, 1942. Yeah, it's got that kind of a vibe to it. Um, you know, with everything that's kind of happening on screen at once, except that they're all coming from multiple directions, and you've all got to hit everyone all at the same time. Yeah, a lot of the difficulty is not so much in what you're asked to do, but just the, 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 like the sort of overwhelming nature of what you're seeing. There's just bullets everywhere, there's guys everywhere. It's difficult to kind of uh, keep track of it all. And, uh, it's really easy to get um, confused. Um, to be fair, you can shoot the bullets. Yeah. So, you know, it's not, it's not the game's... Is, the it's game's, not that unfair. No, it's just that it's, it requires a lot of uh, um, skill. I think if you play, if you sat down and played this game over and over and over again, you'd get pretty good at it. Um, tank trouble, that sounds bad for me. Um, <laughs> tanks a lot! <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care if you hold 50% earnings in bit seizure. I'm firing you right now for that pun. Um, everyone loves puns, right? <laughs> Yeah, that's why we're so popular on YouTube. Yeah, no, yeah. Well, well you got rockets, dude. That's all. Well, awesome. three viewers are really enjoying it. There is japes right now. We're not going to stop doing this. No matter how few viewers we keep scaring away, we're not going to stop doing this. I don't care how unpopular this is. I'm going to keep doing it. Look how far he got. <laughs> not pretty far. <laughs> uh, okay, so we've we've demoted ourselves to Hitler. That's basically uh, just like Hitler, except we play NES games. <laughs> um. <laughs> And Rob, I have to say, also is a World War II enthusiast as well, so he really knows what he's talking about. Yeah, I, I know a lot about World War II. More than I should know. More than anyone should know about World War II. <laughs> There's a lot to know about World War II. 
Yeah, but do you want to know that? Oh, gosh. So yeah, without a second player, it, it does really get hard. And I'm honestly not sure whether it changes. Whoa. I decided to like use my like my sort of uh, invincibility there to run into everyone. Yeah, that's a good that's a good tactic. Another so. pro tip, just to kill everyone as long as. So the little the little green thing you'll see around the bottom of your feet means it's uh, invincibility. Unfortunately, you can't always see it so well. I mean, this is a pretty good quality CRT TV using the NES 101, which is better than my old NES. But even then, you know, it's still occasionally it's very it's still kind of hard to see. I think these guys have like baseball bats or something because that guy took a swipe at me. Maybe they're just punching. I don't know. Punch it I, don't, I think they're just punching. I like this. It just, I mean, that's meant to be cash, I think. I don't know. Or slime. It just looks like oh. you've got gonorrhea coming out of your dick. This is really fun. This, this guy's gonna mm. I'm gonna say. Ah! Oh. Am I dead? No, end? no, no. You've got uh, this life and then. And the, yeah, and the next his life. Jerk is just sitting there on the screen. I'd imagine, because we got uh, Contra recently, um, or in the PAL regions called uh, Probotector, and it's robots, not like muscly <laughs> men. It, we'll explain that one a bit later on, but in a different video. But I'd imagine that this is kind of what it would be like if you played it on a bird's eye view kind of level. Yeah, <laughs> it's not the similar. That, it's just really pretty... like big white bullets being fired at you from all different directions. It's quite a hard game, oh, but man, you can't stop it. Go for the Mutoid Man. All right. right. So now, this, this Why is your gonorrhea, syphilis, and that? I'm going to give you the true Smash TV experience, because this is where most people Smash TV in games game. Um, <laughs> this is not... I really hope Rob can get up to the next level. It'd be great to get past this guy, but I just don't see that. I mean, he's notorious at doing I think you've got to get rid of him. There you go. Yeah, but I think things get worse and worse the more, the more you... Uh, the more damage you deal with this guy, and you just... Yeah. 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 That was... We all saw that coming, but we couldn't do anything to stop him. And it's Rob's last life. Um, I suppose if you stay far enough away from him, there's kind of less he can do to you. Yeah, just try and stay away. But that laser, there's laser eyes or whatever. Yeah, they, they won't they won't embark across the full screen as you can see. They do enough damage. I suppose you just gotta keep. Them. Oh yeah, that'll work. Something wrong with his face. Hi, stupid mutoid man. How big is this guy? Like, what world is this? This is. Oh my god, that's just <laughs> disturbing. That is nightmarish. I'm gonna be dreaming of that for years. Giant yellow heads coming at me. It's like they got the guy from Double Dragon that's like comes through the wall at you, that big huge guy, and, like, <laughs> and just like the, made a tank out of him. Ah, oh, no, you were so close. Oh, wait, am I dead? Is no, that... no, you still got another life. Oh my god, I'm so lucky. All right, this is this is this is pretty good. I gotta say. All right, come on. This is, this is this bonus video is probably better than our first video. Die, die, die. Oh come on, he's got another yellow head under there. This is just yikes. Okay, all right. Dodging. Fuck me, weaving. Sting like a butterfly for like a bee. <laughs> wait, that's the other way around. <laughs> 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 Sting like a butterfly. You sting. You sting good. All spread up. You're in with a chance here, Rob. I'm actually I... starting to get used to the less than perfect controls here. Um... Are they heads? Oh, oh wow! Did it. I, I did think it. this this is going to sound bad on audio, but high five. Nice. There we go. All right. Let's just see what happens next. Because I don't think I've actually ever seen what happens <laughs> past before. Um... I like how Rob. Oh, cuts it. Nice. I like it. Do I come back from the dead? That's what I want to know. <laughs> this is so 80s. Look at these shirtless buff guys, you know. This is not My gay, guy does not look happy at all, actually. He knows that he just doesn't have enough toasters to compete. There's nothing gay about this. They're just uh, two shirtless men. With yeah, why muscles. are they playing video games shirtless? I mean, that's how I play them. But... <laughs> yeah, if you can see the... the, the he's right putting now. a towel on me if he was at home. <laughs> Oh no, I'm not back, it's still just a uh, Robbie boy. Yeah, yeah I'm just gonna... No continues. March to my death down this corridor. The Green Mile, if you will. Um, oh, everything's That's pink! A... Lovely. Orbs! Yep, they're all gone. Right. This, this is like turtles. This looks a lot like, um... It's like Mario. Um... Let's just say that if you were playing Mario Kart and you got one of these shells, it would probably be good for you. But bad if you... Shoot these things. 
devastated as levels are. Oh, God. Um, I'm pretty sure I won't survive. Yeah. You got another five lives, though, I'm gonna say. Oh, wow. Okay, this could go for a while. Um, maybe so we I'm should... Gonna, I'm gonna keep recording here for the meantime. So. Uh, and just hopefully nothing went wrong with the meeting recording. And yeah. we'll just see what happens. We'll see Try and split can... it into a couple of videos or something. Let's see if I can get here. Uh... Bit seizure bonus. Yeah. Um, I don't jinx myself, but so far so good. Um, I just like the fact that you get five lives. Yeah, so that that's, is, that's pretty cool. If you can get past that stupid Mito Man thing. So totally respectful. Share. And there, there are a lot of spare lives around. You just got to remember to share them, hint, hint, with the <laughs> other player. Well, I can't, I've never really figured out which pickup the extra lives. Yeah, and it's, sometimes you even get confused between you, yourself, the enemies. Is L a life? Oh. That sounds bad. No, it's not. Oh, darn. I think there's like a little picture of a little man. Yeah, that makes sense. That's me without my glasses. Though, so. It's a little man. <laughs> that, that's generally. I played Alex Kid, I know how this thing this shit works. Um, <laughs> Imagine if Alex Kid was in this game. We wouldn't even survive the first guard who came around the door. His massive fist would just fucking just come around. You just punch a hole in the wall and leave. <laughs> Fuck this shit, I'm out of here. I'm gonna get some hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking some pretty obscure shit now, <laughs> the, uh, listeners and viewers. I hope you're familiar with Alex Kid. Um, hopefully, we'll get a chance to show you that at some stage. We do future. want to. We want to show you Miracle World, but at the same time, we really don't. Wow, Scarface is in this game? Fantastic. This is breaching all kinds of copyrights. Uh, let's go right. Yeah, sure. Uh, let's, um, let's go through here. Um, meet my twin. Yeah.